So hi guys, this is Mubina back with important question as we have already discussed on the important question of MC01 that is the organizational theory and behavior. Here we are going to have a look at the most important question that I mean the repeated question which has come in the IGNO University again the important question is from the textbook 5 MC01 and this time the question is what are the dimensions of the organizational culture? I'm explaining here only the most repeated question. So there are chances it may come and you can be a topper in the MCOM Igno University. So let's have a look at the dimensions of the organizational culture. So here we are going to have a look at the dimensions of the organizational climate. Textbook 5, page number 13, page number 13, 17.10. So dimensions of the organizational climate, this was a repeated question and there have been many studies on the dimensions of the organizational climate. We all know the a particular person will be coming and he will be explaining many things and after that other one other person will be coming and he will be making some makeover in the first session and then he will be doing the thing. Similarly, dimensions of the organizational climate was also one such aspect. For example, it has been studied dimensions of the organized such studies have helped us to understand the influence of the organizational climate so that we are able to understand the organizational climate in a better way Likert that was the first person Likert has proposed six dimensions of the organizational climate that is leadership motivation communication decision goals and control what is that leadership you, we all know that for everyone if they want to survive in an organization a leadership quality is a must then comes motivation motivation is another important factor for everyone to work out well and everything has to be sought out motivation is the most important thing even though if a person is depressed the person or the higher authority should have that potential communication the conversation between or the it's like a, the statement said between from one person to another if the center and receiver is there that is one of the communication decision goals and control and also there should be a criteria for the decision and also should be control who said these are the six dimensions of the organizational climate whose words are this means these are the words of the liquid these are the words of the liquid but at the same time another person came that is the lit twin and stranger liquid said that what is that leadership motivation communication control the factor that is the genuine thing which we can remember in our organization if we are working there should be leadership quality when the situation goes first there should be a motivation while motivation there should be a communication decision goes and control then lit twin and stranger Litwin and Stringer have proposed seven dimensions of the organizational climate. Likert has proposed six dimensions and Litwin and Stringer have proposed seven dimensions of the organizational climate. That is conformity, responsibility, standard, reward, organizational clarity, warmth and support and leadership. They have also emphasized motivational framework of organizational climate. Motivational framework of climate includes motives of. So, Litwin and Stringer have proposed seven dimension. Likert has uh, six dimension, and Litwin and Stringer have proposed seven dimension of the organizational climate. Conformity, responsibility, standards. Conformity means there should be a confirmation in the organizational climate that what has to be done, what cannot be done in that way. Responsibility, that is the most important thing in the organization. Organizational climate in simple words, it's organizational culture and organizational climate are the simple words which are interchangeable. Which are interchangeable. Almost they are having the same meaning but the organizational climate means what it refers to the atmosphere how the employees or the top level management are having the level of interaction so going back responsibility responsibility of the top level management to the lower level management 
standards and rewards and organizational clarity and about that they should be a organizational clarity for example like a higher authority is saying something for example a bill has been passed or something if the lower level management people are not knowing it's of no worth there should be a clarity and also there should be a warm than there should be a warm than support for if there is something is happening personally for an employee is getting weakened or something due to personal issue there should be a warmth and affection what is that it's fine it's a we can understand if your works are being delayed for a particular period of time is accepted some both warmth and affection is needed and also a leadership we have to be polite but not too polite that every employee start to jump on us that's the important factor they have also emphasized motivational framework of organizational culture motivational framework motivational framework of the climate includes the motives of so here we have learned organizational climate dimension two people have said that is likert and litwin likert has already said what is that literate leadership motivation communication everything that was the important factor at the same time litwin and stringer have proposed seven dimensions of the seven dimensions of the organizational climate that is conformity responsibility standards rewards organizational clarity warm support leadership but at the same time here in the further section we will be having a look at motivational framework of the climate which includes the motives so motivational framework what are the aspect which is that including what are the aspect which they are including so that comes achievement you all know achievement means concern for excellence top level i am the top i'm going to give my best that's achieve export influence concern for making impact on others that means what if i say something it should have an export influence that means the person who is listening to me should feel that no i have to listen to the word it should have that much impact or the magical inspiration on them if put in place control concern for power and orderliness now comes next comes the control concern for power and orderliness that's important control should be there the power should be under control and also orderliness that means what particular work has to be done within a particular period of time nothing can be adjusted or nothing can be done that's the thing then dependency concern for being in close touch with others in a significant way if it's essential to maintain a relationship between the employees or the staff or the members of an organization a dependency should be there we are living beings with some aspect then affiliation concern for building and maintaining close personal relationship i repeat concern for building and maintaining close personal relationship that means what if someone is feeling sad means i should have that kind of intention what is that he said i should do something or i should have done something in that way on the basis of the review of various studies and discussion with the managers prarik has identified 12 processes of the organizational climate you might be thinking what a long process is it but if we think simpler it's a very easy that is what likert has proposed six dimension on the organizational climate communication and decision goals and control at the same time litwin and shunge has seven in that motivational framework has again divided into seven things that is what is the motivation achievement export influence and also there should be extension dependency affiliation the feeling of oneness at the same time next comes to the parik Parikh has identified 12 processes of the organizational climate. He is not like other two person that is Litwin and Likert. I mean sorry. Yeah, Likert and Litwin. Litwin uh Likert has influence 6 and Litwin has influence 7 one. But Parikh has almost oh my goodness 12 processes of the organizational climate. How much? 12 processes of the organizational climate. In that the first one is orientation. priority of the members may range between concern to adhere and establish rules to a concern to concern for the excellence and achievement priority we may, may range between concern to adhere and establish rules concern to adhere means for example it is easy to say that you have to reach the office by 8 am you have to work the finish by this and this much period of time that's impossible that's impossible means it's a bit difficult task it's a bit a bit challenging task the concern to adhere 
concern to adhere to established rules. That's a bit not easy task. To say uh, to print something on the paper and paste it on the notice board and say and to adhere it or to bring it to practical both are different. To concern for excellence and achievement and what is the thing it is for the excellence and achievement. Such kind of orientation should be there. What is that concern to adhere should be on the basis of the two established rules. Everything has to be on the level of the rules which has been established. And then interpersonal relationship depending upon the pattern of relationship it may lead to climate of click formation or climate of control a climate of dependence interpersonal relationship for example a and b a is a manager but b is executive a is very concerned about the emotional imbalances for example like if there's some family problems with the b means he should understand that what is that instead of shouting or doing something he should maintain an interpersonal relationship about manager and executive there should be a relationship of a human being emotional attachment depending upon the pattern of relationship it may lead to the climate of the click formation or climate of control or climate of dependency if everything once the interpersonal relationship has been done it is a climate of control or climate of dependency so Interpersonal relationship. For example, like if I'm having a good control over the employees, then there will be a click formation. Click, click formation is what is that? He's my manager. I have to do that. In that way of click formation, a climate of control. It's easy to control. Instead of being a dominating, I am the manager. He will be like, no, I have to do it. He was polite with me. I should, I do have to be polite with him. That's the thing. Supervision. Depending on supervisor's strength, the climate may be extension or it may be of affiliation or even manipulation or manangalination. Manangalination. It's an important word. Manangalination. Supervision means depending on the supervisor's strength, the climate may be change or extension or it may be affiliation or even manangalination. Supervision. If your supervision is good, it can create a positive atmosphere. So if your supervision is not good, it can create a negative atmosphere. Affiliation means what? It can create. There are chances that it can be positive or negative. Lem manangelination means it can. The chances that it can create a rude atmosphere. For example, like if I, I'm the top level of the manage, a top level of the authority, and I am behaving with every people like animals, then it's not practical. At that time, it may create a rude atmosphere. Then problems. Problems may be taken as an opportunity or an event. Manager may solve problems alone or jointly by the supervisor. Problem solving is another most important aspect in every way. Problem solving is another most important aspect in every way. How come it's either the manager can take the decision by himself or else in a jointly way. It depends on him. It solely depends on him. Then management of mistake. Attitude towards a mistake may be tolerance or of annoyance. Such attitudes contribute to the organizational climate. That means attitude towards the mistake may be tolerance or of annoyance. For example, like if once a person is doing a mistake, I'm like, yeah, it's okay, fine. Next time, it's fine. Third time, it's fine. But always, it's not fine. That time, it can create an annoyance. Annoyance means a kind of disruption. Such attribute, attribute, attitudes contribute to the organizational climate. At that time, it can create an organizational climate. Always forgiving doesn't work out in an organization. Next comes to the another most important aspect that is conflict management. Conflict management may be perceived as opportunity or as a threat. Such perce perceptions influence the organizational climate. Conflict is fine. Conflict up to a certain limit is very fine. But at the same time, always it doesn't work out. Then communication. You all know communication means as a conversation between one or more people. As my charging is getting exhausted, I will go for a bit fast explanation. Communication. Direction, disbursement, mode and type of communication influence. For example, like if I'm talking with a person politely, he will be polite to me. If I'm very aggressive, it don't work out. So there should be a control on the communication, how it has to be done. Then decision making. Levels at which decisions are taken, degree of participation, decision making are the issues which influence the organizational climate. Decision climate. Levels at which decisions are taken. How, when, 
and to whom the decision has to be done that plays an important role trust degree of trust also has to influence for example like if there's no trust between a higher authority and lower authority it's not going to be work out then management of rewards this is same thing as that of the characteristics of the organizational culture in that also we have seen the same thing communication conflict performance reward risk taking management of reward means what if some management of reward perception about what is reward in the organization influence it. for example like here what rewarding not to an employee but to the whole organization risk taking risk taking again it is an important factor of the organizational climate innovation and change styles of managing change and innovation innovation are an important factor so please do subscribe and comment if you find it is a worth it channel thank you so in this session i have gone a bit fast explanation because this is the same as those of the organizational culture elements so if you're going for the organizational culture you have to think yourself you are the head of the authority or as executive in that basis if you make an understanding and steadiness for example like you will be expecting a uh, what a performance reward you are ready to take your stake if the communication is not good means it is going to create conflict conflict if it's not there if conflict is there lack of trust will be there like that if you connect and study means it's going to be an easy session hope it was useful and if you think it's a worth it so definitely we can go for the next if any kind of uh, something anything has to be done from my partners it is really readily acceptable thank you please do subscribe mm -hmm.